we are going to learn about finding mean by step deviation method now when finding mean by assumed mean method just gets difficult maybe because you cannot solve multiplication of larger numbers then it's recommended that you may use step deviation method note that finding mean by direct method direct method is just finding the summation if i x i divided by summation f i or finding mean using assumed mean a plus summation f i d i divided by summation f i which is the assumed mean method where you just find a deviation or the method that we are going to see now give you the same result we don't know the formula for the third method yet let's see how it is so we have taken an example here where we are looking at ages of people in a society so we just need to write ages on the left hand side column where we have class interval written it shows ages in different rows so ages 10 to 20 20 to 30 and so on and the frequency shows the number of people with the ages in corresponding class interval or the corresponding ages so for example if 40 to 50 has frequency 4 that means there are four people who have ages between 40 to 50. We already have class mark written. Class mark is nothing but the midpoint of the each class interval and it is found by adding the upper and lower limit. So in this case 10, 10 plus 20 divided by 2 that gives us 15 and we want to find out the deviation now. So first we need to find out assumed mean. Find out is not the right word here. We will rather choose the assumed mean. And it is found by finding out the mid value when we arrange the class mark in ascending or descending order. So we can clearly see that 35 can be chosen as the class mark. So if there are even number of rows, you may choose any class mark that wouldn't matter when you find out the answer actually. So assume mean here is 35 and we will represent it by the letter A. Now let us try and find out the deviation of each class mark from the assumed mean. Deviation is defined by the subtraction xi minus a. So in this case 15 minus 35 and this will give me minus 20. For the next one it will give me 25 minus 35 which is minus 10. Then I'll get 35 minus 35 which is 0. Then 45 minus 35 that is 10 again and 55 minus 35 gives me 20. Now in step deviation method, I want to find out the division di by h and h is nothing but the range or the class size. So how big is each class is what I am interested in when I say h and h in this case is 10 because 20 minus 10 or 30 minus 20 or 40 minus 30 is all 10. So I can write 20 minus 10 as 10 which is h. So step deviation ui for each row is as follows so di minus 20 divided by 10 is going to be minus 2 then minus 10 by 10 which is minus 1 when i get 0 10 divided by 10 is 1 and 20 divided by 10 is 2 now we can see that the values are reduced and it just gets easier to find out the multiplication and get the mean and if i ui for the first row is frequency times the corresponding step deviation so 3 times minus 2 right here which is minus 6 and 6 times minus 1 here so 6 times minus 1 which is minus 6 again 8 times 0 8 times 0 is 0 then 4 times 1 gives me 4 and 5 times 2 for the last row and that gives me 10 now I should be summing up all the fi ui that is the idea. So what is the summation fi ui? Summing up all these multiplications minus 6 minus 6 which is minus 12 then plus 14 that gives me 2. And what is the total frequency? Total frequency is 9 plus 8 17 plus 9 that is 26 and so now I can find mean using step deviation formula. So mean will be a plus h times summation fi ui divided by summation fi and this is the formula of finding mean by step deviation method now i can just put the corresponding values so in terms in place of a i can write 
35 which was my assumed mean in place of h i can write 10 because 10 is the class size then in the numerator of the fraction alongside summation if i ui we already found out it's 2 let me write 2 here and in the denominator summation fi is 26 and once we simplify this we find that it's 35 plus 10 times 1 by 13 and i can solve this as 35 plus 10 by 13 which is 35.77 and so the mean in this case is 35.77 Note that whatever formula that you use to calculate mean, maybe a direct method or assumed mean method or a step deviation method, the answer is going to be the same. Only when the multiplication gets tougher in direct method, you use assumed mean method. And when the multiplication gets tougher in assumed mean method, you may want to use step deviation method. So these are just simpler methods to find a mean.